You know, as of earlier this month, the SBA had approved over 13 million loans, totaling approximately $964 billion through the Paycheck Protection Program and the EIDL program. And these programs have been uh, absolutely essential lifelines to small businesses across the country. And we know there's more to be done to support our small businesses uh, and to, to the end of this pandemic. Uh, but part of that support definitely has to include the exact thing we've been talking about so much today, ensuring the integrity of the, the, the programs, of preventing further fraud and abuse from, uh, frankly, wasting taxpayer dollars. And I know the Office of Inspector General and the GAO reports have highlighted persistent fraud in both the PPP and EIDL programs. And, uh, you know, in the, in the Kansas Third, uh, which I represent, a local newspaper um, was able to, to share some information about uh, 35 cases of relatively easy, uh, easy to identify fraud in um, just one of the counties in our district. And that was mostly fake farming enterprises in a largely uh, suburban and residential area. And, um, you know, in addition to wasting taxpayer dollars, these cases are, of course, defrauding innocent people through identity theft. And it, it's, obviously urgent and critical that SBA is able to root out uh, this type of fraud really quickly. And I know I've, I've urged, um, and I know others have too, um, to, for the SBA to adopt the OIG recommendations that we've already seen um, so that the victims of identity th theft um, are, are not uh, held at fault. And Mr. Ware, I would love um, to ask you my first question. Uh, in your testimony, you mentioned the ongoing review of uh, SBA's response to allegations of identity theft. And um, I know the chairwoman kind of touched on this a little bit ago, but um, can you can you give us an assessment? I know you indicated that um, there's n some new front end controls, um, but can you give us an, uh, a sense of uh, how the SBA is handling um, these types of cases? In terms of identity theft? Is, yeah, is it, identi identity theft, and uh, particularly as it relates to PPP and EIDL, I think there's, um, or the EIDL is the one that seems to have the most um, uh, yeah. impact in our in the in the district that I represent, based on the data we have. Correct. Well, we, we have an a ongoing um, review right now. Matter of fact, that report, I think the response from SBA to this report is due today, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was the 20th and will be issued shortly thereafter, if provided they don't ask for an extension being that the administrator is new. <laughs> but um, in that, that's we, we are reporting publicly on what SBA has done to address, um, to address what's happening with identity theft. As we, like you, we've heard countless stories and complaints in, by, involving identity theft. And I, it just so we're clear, SBA OIG doesn't have principal jurisdiction on investigations involving identity theft. That, that belongs to the Federal Trade Commission. But we have a direct link on our hotline page in hopes of helping victims. We share those complaints with SBA so they could take appropriate actions. And we view this as a significant matter for SBA to address one that's tied to internal controls within their programs. And so it's something that we're taking very seriously and many of our um, active investigations have to do with this identity theft issue. Yeah, and so that that's a uh, helpful context. I'm curious if, um, if you're able to give any kind of uh, indication about now that idle, the idle loan repayments have been delayed by um, another year, some of those victims of identity theft are going to have other parts of their lives uh, disrupted. Uh, do you know if uh, SBA or have you made recommendations um, about how SBA might be able to um, reduce down or, or solve uh, solve that issue so that you know people who've been the victim of identity theft through these idle loans aren't negatively impacted in a bunch of other aspects of their lives? Great. Um we, we have provided recommendations. The thing is, it's, it's still in, in, in draft, so it's not a completed work that I could speak about okay. publicly, like in this setting. Yeah, so that's actually, so we'll, we'll follow up with you um, based on the your answers today. Thank you so much, Chairwoman, I yield back.